How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new Worse Than Death, a small little horror adventure puzzle game that is requesting that I dim the lights and play in a dark environment with, you know, an intimate sound setup it says for the sake of really getting into the atmosphere, so sure, why the hell not? This game is made by Benjamin Rivers, who people would more likely know from his indie darling back from like 2012, which was another small indie horror adventure pixel game, uh, Home. And that, that came out in like 2012, yeah, so it's, it's been a while. He's, he's had other games in between, but I feel like that's the one people most likely know Benjamin Rivers from. I've been keeping an eye out on this one for a little while. I'm pretty excited that it's finally here, and it's nice to have a little bit more of something spooky to play <laughs> during the spook month. You only have three lives. Three lives means starting over. For the sake of getting through the game, I'm going to do unlimited lives. I don't need to really challenge myself. I'd rather enjoy the story with you guys. We'll see how that goes. I'll try not to die. Friday, March 22nd, 1996. The weekend of the high school reunion. Back in our tiny town in the middle of nowhere. I remember how anxious I was about it all. It had been so long since I'd last seen you, Flynn. We were inseparable once. But that was before Grace, of course. Before the accident. It's the 10, 10 year reunion. I thought we could finally move on from that event. But I had no idea just how much things would change. High school reunion. Good setup for a horror adventure. Probably about as good as like a cabin in the woods sort of deal. The drive from the city feels longer every time. My legs are aching. Pretty, pretty standard, like, it's just kind of a 2D environment, so I imagine the game will be quite linear. But that kind of adds a small amount of terror in the sense that I don't really have options for escaping. <laughs> I'm getting so cold. I can't believe it's snowing again. It's already spring. Sam's. This sign was like a beacon in this tiny town. Even as a teenager, I found it comforting. Just want to explore beyond. Nothing over there. Is that little Holly? Sam, how long you been serving these kids? I imagine there's been a little bit of underage drinking in this establishment before. Little Holly? Come on, Sam, I'm almost 30 now. My word, it's been a while. You made it back for the reunion after all, did you? Yeah, that's right. Hard to believe it's been this long. Ugh, my 10 year high school reunion comes up next year. <laughs> Weird to think. Well, it's good to see you back, Holly. Glad to see you got in before the weather gets worse. Anyway, enough about all that. What can I get you? This one's on me. Ooh, I get options. A good old beer, a uh, wine, or a little bit of that whiskey. I would never order whiskey or whatever this is, but we're role-playing, so we'll, we'll take that. Ryan Ginger! Oh, that's that's a better option. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> Ryan Ginger coming up. He's in the back, at his usual table. Thanks, Sam. There was an achievement for ordering a mixed drink. It's kind of a, a peculiar, specific thing. I don't know if there would have been an achievement for whatever I ordered. Everyone in this town sure drank a lot when I lived here. That's part of being in a small town. There's not a lot else to do. I wish... I wish Flynn had left this place after school. Maybe things would have been different. Hey, Flynn. That's it? Seriously? Your best friend in the whole world gets a hey? Come on, have a seat. Yeah, I suppose I could do you that small courtesy cool combination of pixel art and like hand painted pictures like that. It's been a while since we've done this, you know? Just sat down together? Probably since... since just before Grace died. Yeah. Well, as much as I don't want to go to this reunion, it's nice to talk face to face instead of just over the phone. Yeah. Listen, uh... I know you've got a lot to think about already. Well, I kind of wanted to talk to you about something. Well, look who it is back here. 
Who, those are crazy face he's doing. Oh, great. Just what we need. Some high school bully who never stopped being an asshole ten years later. You two got some nerves showing your face in here again. God, Jack, you smell like a distillery. Have you been at it all day? You shut your mouth. I'm not here to talk to you. I'm here to talk to this piece of garbage. Come on, Jack. Leave us alone. We're just here for the reunion, same as you. Well, I'm sure everyone's going to be real glad to see you both tomorrow. The reunion without its homecoming queen. Jack, what the hell did we talk about? Sit down. <laughs> see you tomorrow, Flynn. Try not to cry too much when you see Grace's memorial. Look at that ridiculous smile he's doing. It's very toothy and crooked and maniacal. Also, his eyes are super close together. Also, his forehead is super sucking, sunken. We should just be hurling insults at him. Come on, let's let's show him what it means to be a bully. We're almost 30 years old. We know how to cut to the core of you now. That idiot hasn't changed at all. Don't listen to him. He's just trying to rile you up. What happened to Grace? It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I... I know. Holly, what was it you wanted to talk about, you know, before? I, you know what, don't worry about it. There will be another time. Chapter 1, The Reunion, Saturday, March 23rd. Not a very spooky time of year, but I guess they did say it is spring. At 6.45 p.m. I couldn't sleep at all at the motel. I feel like hot garbage. Better get moving. Flynn's probably waiting for me. The only thing I can think of right now with Flynn is Breaking Bad. I'm currently doing a rewatch of that series. All I can think is Walt Jr. wanting to be called Flynn for like a season and a half. Hey! That's it? Your best friend in the whole world gets a hey? Yeah, throw that sarcastic remark back in his face. But don't do it like cheerfully or in some like fun joking best friend way be rude about it make him feel bad get right into that bully mentality and never leave come on let's just get this over with how's your leg uh, the cold makes it feel worse i won't be running anywhere that's for sure but i can walk oh well, when the monsters come you're getting cut loose then flynn i can't have a liability like that slowing me down well that's good Let's go make our token appearance. Stay for an hour and then beat it. If that's all the commitment you're putting in, I just probably wouldn't go. Yeah, okay, you're right. Thanks, Holly. They're really fidgety people, though, aren't they? Their idle stances are like, ah, I got it. just ready to bolt at a moment's notice as soon as anything gets remotely scary. At least we know they're prepared, staying limber. We should just skip the party and go drink down here by the water, like old times. I don't know how we got away with that as much as we did. Remember when we tried to cook hot dogs on the old fire pit and almost burned the bush down? I've been there. <laughs> Luckily, nothing came of it. God, I thought we were going to go to jail. Those were good times back then. It's probably a little cold for that. Probably wouldn't want to do that in the current state here. Oh, is this a memorial? There's a cattail in my face. This seems like a bit much. The candles make this more like a wake than a reunion. Oh god, Flynn, I'm I'm so sorry. What a stupid thing to say. It's okay, I know you didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue to walk on eggshells though. I don't know how like emotionally fragile you may or may not be right now. Wow. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Ten years since we left this place. Doesn't really look any different, though, does it? It feels smaller somehow. You might be a little bit bigger. There's a pretty good chance there. Looks like the school decorated the trophy case with some, some old photos for the reunion. There's a photo of Jack when he was on the basketball team. Pretty weird to have a basketball team when there's only three students in the entire school, though. Maybe there was four at the time before Grace's accident. Didn't he have, like... Two schools offering him scholarships? Yeah, I think so, but he screwed it all up. Drinking all the time, that sort of thing. I even heard he was into drugs. Some of that marriage of Juana, you guys. Really? When was that? After... After the accident, really. 
Well, let's try not to dwell on that. Try not to think of it. Use every individual object in the entirety of the school as a reason to connect our memories back to that, How uh, shall we? The old school crest, same as always. Didn't our motto mean, never run from your dreams or something like that? You remember that? I'll be honest, I never paid much attention. I know we spent a lot of time running from glasses, though. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Come on. I think we were only mildly bad students for maybe one semester. Yeah, you're right. We were kind of a bunch of dorks. Yeah, everyone probably has that a little bit, a little bit of a blow-off semester. I don't remember there being so many rules on the school code of conduct. That's probably because morons like Jack did so many stupid things they have to add more. That is a very good point. Oh no, Jack wasn't kidding. The school really did put up a memorial for Grace. Flynn, don't look. He might be a little stronger than you think. I told you, the whole town blames me for what happened. It's like they're rubbing it in my face. Come on, we've talked about this. You need to stop saying that. Let's just move on from there is probably the best bet. I'm seeing like stairs and a gymnasium or whatever. I don't want to leave this room yet until I've more thoroughly explored. This must be the guest book for the reunion. Lots of folks have signed it already. I don't want to sign it. I don't even want anyone to remember I was here. I'm sorry, Flynn. This probably isn't making things any easier. It's okay, but let's just go ahead in, okay? Or we leave. This door has been blocked off by chains. It feels very Riddle School-esque, the old Flash game. That hall leads to the music and art classes, I remember. Weird to chain it up. Seems like it probably had its own locking mechanism of some sort. That just leads to the second floor classrooms. The reunion is in the gymnasium, Holly. Yes, I was just trying to explore, Flynn. Okay, here we go. Trying to d delay the inevitable is all I was doing. I thought you'd be in favor. <sighs> Time to face all those pricks. No oh boy, it's busy in here. Not even the bad weather kept people away. Holy, I, I don't think I can do this. Come on, you'll be okay. We're only staying for an hour, remember? I think I'm... Just gonna go with the bathroom, okay? Okay, but don't take too long. Substantially less than an hour is kind of the limit that I would like to set, but you're an adult and I don't want to tell you how long you can or can't pee for. Damn, well, I might as well make the rounds a bit. You guys want to chat? Anyone, anyone remember old Holly? Whole bunch of cupcakes and treats themed after the school's hockey team. I think I'll skip the blue snacks for now. Yeah, blue's not a very appetizing color. It doesn't occur naturally very often. Uh, Vivian? Vivian Danvers? What? Holly! Holy shit, it's great to see you! Holy? Holy shit! <laughs> How are you? I'm, uh, okay. It's been a while. It sure has. I heard you moved to the city right after school. Yeah, that's right. Where did you hear that? Come on, Holly. You're looking at Bruce Bay's top local reporter. I keep tabs on everyone. Of course, of course. Does that mean you took over the paper from your dad? You bet. When he retired, I stepped up. I've been modernizing it too. We even have a website. Oh, I guess it is 96. I guess that's like cutting edge right now. <laughs> wow, so you're really going high tech now. That'll be good for the town. What about your sister? A local paper run by twins would be pretty cool. Well, Vanessa is usually too busy flirting with someone to help much with the paper. So what about you? Did you go off to college then? University? I personally, I went to an institute that was the University of Blank. When people ask if I went to college, I stopped correcting them. It starts to feel very pretentious. I just say yes. Holly, maybe you just say yes. You probably are quite a few years removed. It's the same thing. I'm a physiotherapist now. I mainly treat sports injuries. Oh shit, that's awesome. Damn, you must be in great shape. Uh, I, I run about three times a week, so I suppose so. 
Nice. It's going to be good for escaping whatever the monsters of this game are, which I don't know currently. Wow, that is at least three times more than Vanessa or I do, that's for sure. <laughs> well, uh, should probably get going. It's nice to see you again, Vivian. Okay, Holly, take care. I wonder how likely or unlikely it is for twins to eventually move to separate towns, or if their lives will just kind of be co-linear permanently. I don't know. Be an interesting thing to read up on. Not like those crazy things where they intentionally separate twins' lives, crazy old decades, many decades old experiments. I just mean like generally of their own free will. Mr. Sartain, right? From chemistry class? Huh? Oh, he looks like J. Jonah Jameson on like a good day. Like he got, he finally got enough pictures of Spider-Man. And so he's a little less furious and demanding. He's like, chill. He's like, ah. Oh. I have enough pictures of Spider-Man. You can stop bringing me more pictures of Spider-Man. I'm satisfied with the current number of pictures of Spider-Man. Huh. Oh, uh, Holly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I had you in grade 12. Uh, how have you been, Mr. Sartain? Oh, please. It's just Dave now. School was a long time ago. Uh, okay, I'll be honest. I can only think of you as Mr. Sartain, even all these years later. Ah, oh, shucks, Dave, you've s screwed another one. No recovering from that. Guess I'm going home alone again tonight. Well, I guess it's different for everyone. Vanessa never had a problem using my given name. Huh? Vanessa? Uh, well, anyway, I mostly remember not being great in your class. I had a hard time with chemistry. Maybe Dave was banging one of the students. I probably don't want to dig too much into that. That's TMI, you know? Ah, uh, yes, I recall that as well. I, uh, failed you as a teacher. Uh, Mr. Sartain, did, do you have to go somewhere? You look distracted. Is everything okay? He just kind of keeps doing this. It's like not a pointed, like, scanning of the room. Just like, it's like he's trying to make you think he's looking elsewhere. It's just the limitations of pixel art, but it's kind of funny to dig into. Okay, uh, yes, yes, of course. I'm just, uh, l looking out for someone. Yeah, uh, no problem. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, that was uncomfortable as hell. Let's bail hard. Carol! Carol looks like she's partying. Long time no see. Let's get crazy. Oh my god. Holly, is it really you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's me. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I'll say. The last time I saw you was right before graduation. You just disappeared after that. Yeah, I I moved to the city to head off to university. University! I went to university. Well, shit. So, what about, you know, what do you mean? Flynn, of course. I couldn't believe it when I found out that he was engaged to, uh... You know who. To Grace. Yeah, right. I mean, I thought you two were a thing. Huh? No. No, it wasn't like that. We were... Uh, I mean, we are just friends. Oh, well, that's too bad. You two always seemed really close. Say, he wouldn't happen to be here, would he? Ah, uh, you gonna take a shot at old Flintster? Get that Flint... <laughs> Going strike a fire, maybe? Uh, yeah. He just went to the men's room, I think. I hope he comes back. I always remember he was pretty handsome. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> oh, that must be the other twin, probably. At the far left there. It's a replica hockey jersey, celebrating the season when the school's team won the inter-county, not country, just inter-county championship. We weren't that excited about the games, but I remember Flynn, Grace, Carol, and a whole bunch of us sneaking beers to the matches. Hockey matches? Seems like a little bit strange. Call them hockey games. <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Yeah? It's, uh, Holly. Oh, well, so it is. Hey, how's it going? Uh, good? Are you busy? Just wanted to say hi. Hmm. Oh, no, no. Well, yes, in fact, I have a bit of an issue. 
Okay. Secret zombie? Mummy? Some sort of Frankenstein, perhaps? Inciting incident for the rest of the plot of this game? Do you remember Mr. Sartain? Uh, our grade 12 chemistry teacher? Right, that's him. Anyway, he was super hot, remember? Okay... Go on... I'd like to see where this is going. I'd rather hear it from you than him, but either way, it's still kind of... Uh, well, I've maybe... Maybe suggested we'd catch up later. You know, after this thing I have to take care of. Oh, uh, well now you're like 30 years old, you're two consenting adults. As long as you didn't do anything when you were like a high schooler. And well, it turns out he hasn't been exactly honest with me. The photos he sends me are pretty old. Oh, you guys stay in touch? Alright, it's weird again now. I'm trying to help you separate from this and make it not a weird, uncomfortable thing. You're not helping me help you. I'm not following here. Now, he just looks like my dad. It wasn't like that back in school. Uh, I, yeah, I see what you mean. Right? So, I'm in an awkward situation, and... Well, there's no point telling you about it, is there? Anyway, I have to cut this short. I need to, uh, use the washroom. Freshen up. Oh, Vanessa, it was, uh, great to catch up with you. Uh, where is that idiot? If he's gonna take forever, I'm gonna go get a drink. Flynn just snuck out the back. He's outy. He's not coming back at all. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Maybe I'll just go look for him in the hallway. Sprint out of the room. Don't draw any attention to yourself. I knew Fl I know Flynn isn't back that way. I should check the other door. <coughs> nope. Sprinted a bit too much. Got to recover, <laughs> recover that a little bit. Now I know. Do you manage to run out of stamina? There's like a recovery period, like a dramatic recovery period, rather than just like refilling the bar. You actually do get like exhausted. Mm, maybe you went out here to get away from the crowd? Hello? Flynn? I started just saying that on my own. It fits the dialogue. Gross drips from the roof. Not going to assume anything immediately, but it appears gross. Ah, something dripping from the ceiling. Even Sam's bar is better ma maintained than this school. I choose to stand directly under it. Yeah, I just stand, line it right up, open your mouth, and get a quick taste. That's going to give you a lot more to go off of than just looking. It's a collection of notices about after-school events, schedule changes, and the like. There's an official note about what to do if roads get washed out or if a student sees any kind of flooding. One of the downsides of a town that was built next to a lake and two rivers. This feels like some sort of Chekhov's gun that if you're going to point out the flooding and all that, it's either going to be important to the story later or that's how Grace died. It'd be hard to uh, blame a specific person for someone dying in a flood, but if he was engaged to her or whatever, then if you're going to blame someone, I guess that would be who you, who you point at. Flynn, you hiding in your old locker, buddy? It's been left wide open. It's empty. You know, these old lockers are pretty big. I could probably fit in there if I had to. Well, I'll keep that in mind when it inevitably becomes a thing. Shit. <laughs> Holy crap. What was that noise? I was not paying close enough attention. I don't think there was anything on screen to, like, indicate that. Hey, if I remember correctly, this used to be Vanessa's locker. Her sister was in another wing. You can still see faint remains of writing across the old locker door. Oh, it's awful. Someone wrote slut in huge letters. It's barely visible now, but I can still make it out. Oh, not the open one. I think it's talking about that one on the far left, maybe? The writing is so old, it's probably from when we were here. I had no idea anybody did this. Anyone, anybody... I guess if she's flirting with teachers, Dar won't budge. I think it's, uh, I don't think it's important anyways. Yeah, that big crash was nothing important. We don't need to worry about that. Weird mannequins in the school, of course. Damn, it's dark up here. It's starting to feel really cold. 
Wait a minute, our old homeroom was in this hallway. Maybe Flynn went in there? Ugh, it's a pair of creepy mannequins. I hate these things. Classic school mannequins. Won't budge, don't think it's important anyways. Okay, ooh, what just came rolling towards us there? It looked like a little Christmas ornament or something. What the hell is going on? There are beer bottles here. Looks like one of the, those discount brands with the yellow label. Uh, do we think it's beer splashed all up on the wall? Is, is that blood? I would be so out of there so quickly. There are some more notices, similar to the ones on the floor below. One of them mentions some chemistry lab supplies that were apparently stolen. It all connects to Breaking Bad. <laughs> maybe with Flynn and stuff, maybe that is an intentional tie-in. The doors are locked with some kind of padlock. I'll need a key to get through. Well, let me just strut my stuff over. <laughs> she really, like, throws her arms up when she runs. Looks like she's got... If, if you just kind of, like, get a little bit... Oh, I hit shift too many times and initiated sticky keys. God, I haven't done that in, like, ten years, speaking of. But anyways, it makes you feel like you're doing some kind of cool, cool guy walk. Really trying to make it catch on, trying to make it a thing, you know? Wow, this is our old homeroom, all right. It's too dark to see much, but it appears the same. Something smells off in here, though. Like someone forgot their lunch over the weekend. Maybe that mysterious blood liquid that I chose to ignore. Back up there crazy clock. It's the teacher's desk. I didn't see our old homeroom teacher at the reunion. I wonder if she's still here. Whatever was written here has been covered by dozens of angry chalk scratches, making the board illegible. Someone just really hates learning. Stupid chalkboard making them feel stupid and in inadequate. It's deserved. Hey, this is my old desk. I remember when I carved this gigantic X straight through it. It's been scratched all over with deep cuts. I, I don't know how you would walk in a room and find your specific desk. Ten years later, I'm not remembering anything about an old classroom, let alone my specific desk. Is there like, can I click around or anything? I don't appear to have control of the mouse right now. I was curious if there was something in there maybe. Go back. Perhaps we have to come back to that. There's a group of empty beer bottles with yellow labels and a blue pack of cheap cigarettes. Oh, god damn. <laughs> what the? I think we run now, maybe? Yeah? Don't want to get too close? Oh, god, it's Jack. At least I'm pretty sure it is. The head has been completely disfigured and his innards are everywhere like he was pulled inside out. Jesus. Oh, there's a note in his chest here. There's a note shoved into Jack's shirt. It's covered in blood now, but I, I can still make out parts of it. You should have stopped when I told you? Has anyone told us to stop? Yet. That might have been a note for Jack, I guess, not for, for us. It's some kind of key ring. Oh, I didn't really get to see what it says, but... I did get the custodian's keys, and the achievement it pays to pay attention. <laughs> this is awful. What is going on? I need to find Flynn. I, I think we book it out of here probably, but I'm also anticipating something. This is like prime setup for a scare. Yes? All I have to do is be fully prepared and tense... All around. Have all my muscles ready to jump. That's how I'll get past this. What's that sound? Oh, Jesus. What was tripping there? Holly will encounter unseen horrors. Unseen that are hunting her. Watch to see if she seems nervous. Or the room is unnaturally cold. So, like, seeing her breath. And then what? If Holly gets too close... Oh, there's some shit on the right-hand side of the screen there. Enemies will see her. She can use dark places like this one, however, to hide. Oh, her stamina meter will vibrate and change color depending on how close something is. The lights around her will react as well. 
when enemies are dangerously close, her heart will pound. If Holly runs, oh god. While her heart is pounding, they'll hear, hear, hear her. Oh shit, okay, it went right past. I kind of like that it's unseen in a way that I, I can't really tell, like, what... I have, like, nothing to go off of here of what this thing may be. Okay, this seems like maybe a mistake, but I can probably duck into here again. Get in, get in, get in! Oh my goodness! Does that, does that mean I'm safe? Okay, it's gone. It's gone again. <laughs> gotta be, gotta be cautious. I like that. You gotta come up with creative ways to make those scares work on a 2D plane like that. Holy shit, I gotta keep moving. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I... I don't plan to think twice about it. Instead, I'm just gonna keep wandering through these hallways. Come on, why is there so many different options of areas to duck? Duck it and hide when there's not actually the monster currently actively in the moment? It's probably gonna come back up. I, I'm probably gonna have to go back up there sometime and there will be a monster. What the hell was that? The hallway felt so cold. It was like my hands were going numb. <sighs> Did that thing kill Jack? Should I tell anyone? Should I continue to pace around the hallway and ask myself rhetorical questions? Okay, okay. I need to calm the hell down. It's not going to help if I start freaking out. You could freak out a little, maybe. Use that as a method means of quickly communicating to other people. Wait a minute. I, I don't hear any music anymore. I should go check the gym. Ooh, that's a bad sign. Oh, God. Okay. I can't open the door. It just snapped shut and locked itself. This is insane. I have to find Flynn and get out of here. Everywhere else is blocked off. I'll head outside and check the car. Yeah, we're piecing out of here pronto. Pronto? Drive home? Flynn! Flynn, you idiot! Are you out here? Damn it. Oh, it's chilly. The wind must have blown out all the candles. Ooh, that's a little bit eerie, actually. I wouldn't have noticed that otherwise. There's blood all over the guardrails here. And all the lights are flickering. Flynn? Flynn? I don't hear anything. The car is wrecked. It's been completely totaled. Who could have done this? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, no. It's that thing again. It found me. There's nowhere to hide here. I, I have to make a run for it. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. <laughs> You're just stuck out in the open in, like, the cold... Deserted grounds of the school? Chapter 2. Things begin to unravel. <laughs> okay, well, I like when a game has chapters. Because that means there's very nice, easy to work with the noted moments for me to wrap up an episode. Curious? Intrigued? Want to see more? <laughs> I think the game's relatively short. It's like a handful of chapters. I don't know precisely how many, but I, I will be doing a full playthrough of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy super early Halloween, I guess. <laughs> take, take care. Terrible ending. Go, go Graham.